Is there a difference, for example, between the individual who can't fall asleep, you know, this initiation of sleep in insomnia versus the person that I hear much more about yeah. and frankly, I experience more, which is, eh, it's not that hard for me to fall asleep, mm -hmm. but boy, I will jolt up at one in the morning yes. with some thought or anxiety that yes. I can't get out of my mind. Those people need the same stuff. Mm. And the people who can't fall asleep at the beginning of the night, their mind's just racing earlier than yours. Mm -hmm. Yours is just waking you up. I always tell patients, if you don't deal with what's causing you stress or anxiety during the day, it's going to demand to be dealt with in the middle of the night. It's going to say, oh, Peter, I notice you're you know, laying there peacefully, not doing any work or tasks, and you don't have anything you need to do right now. So you're going to pay attention to me. And it's going to demand your attention at that time. Other people, that happens right when their head hits the pillow at the beginning of the night. Oh, you're relaxing now. Okay, here's your 10 things to worry about. Okay, this is really important to you. This is something you're doing all the time, all day. Guess what? What do we do with things that are really important to us? Make time for them. We schedule them. Exactly. So this could be a valuable technique, even absent insomnia. Totally. Yeah. So the other thing that scheduling worry time does, besides uncluttering your whole day, is it helps you get it done during the day so that when your head hits the pillow, it's not there. The other thing when it comes to falling asleep at the beginning of the night versus the middle of the night is that there's sometimes low-hanging fruit that we can think about. I've had some male patients go from waking up three times in the night to pee to one time. And the fewer times you wake up in the night, the fewer times you risk not falling back asleep. If I had five cents for every time I took away a down comforter from someone and their sleep got better, I'd have like $8. I mean, this is huge. And this is because everybody's heard of circadian rhythm, right? But it's missing a word. It's circadian temperature rhythm. So for folks who have trouble falling asleep at the start of the night, we want to make sure their hands or feet and feet are warm enough, right? And that they've dealt with the thoughts and the worries during the day and that they're not trying to go to sleep at nine o'clock when their body doesn't want to go to sleep until 11. A lot of people just think I need to have this much time in bed each night and they get into bed and they struggle for two hours before their body actually wants to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. So a major part of CBTI is aligning when your body can produce sleep with when you're in your bed. 